Well, you impressed a lot of people. You wound up uh, in a leadership position in Massachusetts and then got knighted to be Rit Mitt Romney's lieutenant governor, uh, which I, I dare say someone I, I uh, talked to someone about you in this interview, and they said, wow, Mitt Romney, um, history seems to be very, very kind to Mitt Romney <laughs> in, in, in terms of uh, both national leadership, but also what he did in Massachusetts. Um, and, and that that must have been uh, a really productive feeling time for you and Mitt. It was a wonderful, it was a wonderful experience. And by the way, um, uh, Senator Romney is just a genuinely good person. Uh, I know a lot of times people are a little bit cynical about someone who seems maybe a little bit too good to be true. Uh, but he is honestly a very good person every single day of the week and, and loves his family and loves his country and is willing to make you know, very difficult decisions for which he's been harshly criticized by a number of people in order to stand up for principle. So I, I have nothing but the greatest admiration for him, and it was a great experience working with him. It, it is funny where uh, I feel like Mitt now has morphed into this wholesome grandfather figure for a lot of people, which I'm sure he is both wholesome and a grandfather. <laughs> well, yeah, do, do I believe at least 25, maybe 26 grandchildren? So I think the answer is that's exactly who he is. Yes. Um, so you then ran for governor as a Republican in a very blue state. Um, and uh, that didn't go your way. Uh, I feel like this movement forward in many ways is tailor-made for someone like you because you strike me as reasonable, policy-oriented, moderate, blue state Republican, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if that's a fair description. Well, that's, well, that's right. I mean, there, there is a whole category of, of Republicans in the Northeast. And when Governor Romney and I were in office together, um, there, there were uh, Republican governors throughout the, the Northeast, actually, in almost every state. And, and these are folks who are generally described as being socially moderate and, and economically conservative. And although it's not necessary for state-level policies, uh, I would also say uh, that I personally am a foreign policy conservative as well. I believe that America should lead, that it's our obligation to lead, but that we shouldn't lead with force. We should leave, lead with moral character and principle, and that we need to lead with a strong economy. And that strong economy begins at home. So, so those those are the principles that I always felt comfortable with. It's it, these are principles that a number of people in the Northeast feel comfortable with. I can't tell you how many conversations I have when I say, "Gosh, I'm a social moderate and an economic conservative," and everyone says, "Would you please start a party that's for those folks?" Because I have never felt like I had a home, and I hope that that's at least partially what we're doing. Yeah, very very much so. You know, Chris Sununu, who is a Republican. Blue state gov. Oh, sorry. I mean, it's purplish state, but he's a Republican. He's a moderate Republican. He, he's like the, the he's yep. top of mind for me when you think about these northeastern. Absolutely, part of that model. Yeah, very yes. much so. And he's stepping down, not to run again, um, which in some ways is very disappointing. It seems like that that breed of Republican leader is uh, in danger in danger of disappearing. Well, I think it's very hard for uh, individuals like that right now to get even the nomination of their party in uh, those blue states, uh, because we have, as, as everyone has seen, uh, seen the Republican Party become quite polarized and moderates have been forced out. You know, we have seen even a governor as wildly popular as Charlie Baker in Massachusetts, who was, you know, reelected with 70 percent of the vote uh, in, a, in a state where Republicans actually comprised fewer than 10 percent of the voters. And he was a Republican and he was being reelected and his, his popularity ratings were off the chart. But he was in doubt of whether or not he was actually going to be able to win his own convention. Uh, because the, the party had shrunk so much and become so extreme uh, that the, they, didn't, they no longer even approved of him and approved of what he was doing within the state. So people like that should be kept in politics, obviously, because they're doing a good job and people like them. But the party, the, our current party structure doesn't allow for it. Hey, YouTube, glad you're enjoying the podcast. If you really like it, hit subscribe, and then YouTube will notify you every time we have a bang-up new guest. Thank you.